Hi everyone, FlossTube family. My name is Sabrina and my channel name is Lady Marmalade in Stitches and I'm here today about to do a craft room tour. So we'll enter my little room. It's quite small. It wasn't intended for a craft room. This has um, developed throughout the years, especially once I stayed home. When I was working full time, I did not have time to spend money for a start and to purchase and to work on other crafts. So I was quite busy working full time. So I'm about to enter my little craft room. As I've told you, there aren't any doors in, there's no doors in this room. It's at the front of the house. And as you enter, you can see my table there. I have that cabinet, my easel, and that's the window there. It's another beautiful day outside. Absolutely gorgeous. And I have a cupboard. I'll step back as much as I can. And that's a cupboard which I store my, some diamond painting accessories, cross stitch and my um, pastels. So, I'm going to start here as we enter. So there's a front door. So I'm very close to the front door. So what I have attached to the cupboard, and I'm just going to bring you right down very slowly. I hope I'm not shaking too much. I'm actually using my iPad. So um, my DMC and my CXC is stored here and it's all numbered. So I know what number to go to. They're in kind of increments of 10. For example, I'll go to the 500 if I can find it. It's a bit harder when you're filming to try and work out where you are. So here we are. And, and, and it's stored really well. I'm quite happy with it. So I'm quite happy with the way this has turned out. Um, because I, I kind of had them on a ring binder in, in plastic bags and it was so messy, so untidy. It kind of drove me a bit crazy. So I'm going, just flicking over to this side of the wall. That's just my vacuum cleaner. Um, it was stored in a garage and it fell off the wall. So now there's a hole in the wall, so I just keep it here. Stepping back so that I can show you this side. So we've just entered from there. And this is my diamond painting area, my diamond painting table, which works just perfectly. So I keep it raised and this is what I'm working on at the moment. She's gorgeous. I have quite a few diamond paintings um, stored at the top of my cupboard, which I'll show you later on. So my t diamond painting area. So I'm thinking of bringing my diamond paintings over to this wall here, but they're on here at the moment because this is where my table used to be. So these are my diamond paintings that I've completed. I have completed more which I've given away. These are the ones I have here. And I just happen to have a little cross stitch here. I was in a um, cell. It's a really pretty little bird. So that's it there. And on this wall I have this cabinet which stores all the cross stitch patterns and kits and everything else and I'll go through that as well. My easel where I used to do all my painting, haven't done it for a couple of years and behind it is all my painting papers and stuff and completed paintings. So I'm going to start with my cupboard and I'll start on this top cupboard because this top cupboard is related to cross stitch. The two underneath aren't, so there's no point showing you that. So the first thing you see is all of my fabric. So my fabric, I've placed them on um, these cards. They're labelled so I know what count they are. So it'll be mainly 18 there is 16 and there is also 28 
not much of 28 I don't normally stitch on 28 and over here these are just little pieces here as you can see little pieces I have my my gridded fabric there some black Ada for the um, stitching that needs to be done on black Ada so I'm quite happy with that I've actually got a couple of pieces of fabric coming which I'm really excited about I'm just having them especially dyed so I'm going to move up so up here I have scrap fabric that's they're all scrap here and that's just an empty box an empty box up there I have the pins in this container is for when I'm mounting my cross stitches onto a board and I, and I want to pin it I have my rit die in the back and over here I have the Seaside Kingdom embellishment pack which I just keep here one day if I decide to stitch it all I'm I'll, at least I know I have the embellishment so that's what I keep on on this side of the cupboard I'm just going to close the door God, I'm feeling a bit seasick even just filming this so over here on this side at the top I have hoops and Q frames I just keep them up on the shelf here they don't have my frames my frames if I can get high enough there are some of my frames just sitting up here on top of the cupboard as well as my other diamond paintings waiting to be completed so my hoops are here I'm going to open the next door my project bags are here I have a knit card just in a corner which I haven't started I actually won that from a jazz Yasmin made with love that was a, that was really kind of her to give something away like that and actually mail it from the UK to Australia so thank you Yasmin if you haven't watched her channel she's absolutely fabulous and she's now into designing and her designs she's great she definitely has a talent for it so on the door here I've just put a couple of hooks and my overdyes are here some silks are here as you can see there are water lilies these these are all the week's dye works water lilies I have just some silks in the back here a mishmash there and these ones are classic oops, classic color work sorry about that I hope I didn't make you sick classic color work so it's just there so I just hang them there because they they won't gather dust in it out of the light so I, I'm quite happy there and it's a good place to keep them on the door and I have another I have a couple of more doors I can use as well so I'm going to close the top door because I need to keep this one open to still okay so I'm just taking a seat so I can hold this carefully so over here these are just accessories for my cross stitching I just have a hole puncher here these are for when I place them I have some frames which require me to either sew or I can use the hook and loop mounting system so you need one for the fabric and then you need one the scroll frame so I have that there in case I decide I want to use it in here yeah I just have floss away bags and bits and pieces in here it's a bit hard trying to film and watch what my hands doing many floss away bags um, and just really bits and pieces and this is just the the fish wire or the cording that you use um, if you want to grid your fabric so I have that there this is just a box which has my my scissors this is just some double tape double sided tape and in here I'm going to just pull this out and show you 
this is where I keep all of my beads. So all my beads, I have my Krynik and more beads, the filament for beading. So I actually purchased this for my diamond painting, but I, but I never used it because it really wasn't practical for that. So, but perfect for for storing my beads in my crinic. Absolutely love it. So, so I really love that. And if you want to know where I got it from, just send me a message and I can tell you. These I inherited all I inherited a lot of my DMC, well most of my DMC from my mother-in-law. And she had all these scrap DMCs and I've just popped them in a container. If maybe one day I need to use it, um, I can always go in here and, and see. So they're just kind of Scraps or they're, or they're not numbered, so I don't know what they are. And that's why I've just kept them in there. In here, there I have my um, sulkies. You know, I have not used these yet. I bought them. Like I was all excited about using them, but I still haven't used it. And I think because on 18 count, it still doesn't give the coverage as like I prefer. I mean, if you're using it on a high count, it's perfect. So I'm considering actually just selling these because I've had these for a while. So they might go on a stash of the road. That's what I'm thinking. There's my dog. Hello, Chica. Hello, gorgeous. She just brought her bed over just to keep me company. All right, I'm closing this up. And now I'm going down below. She's come to see what I'm doing. So in here, I just have some um, a scroll cover, some other bags that I've made um, yeah, I've just, I've just, I keep some here and I keep some in the other cupboard. I don't really know why I separated. I have no idea why I've done that. But that's that's what that is there. So over here, and these, these are kind of all scrappy things. I have, I bought this for beading. It's meant to be like a beading mat, but I haven't used it because I've got that sticky, what do you call it? Um, I do have it in the drawer when I see it, I'll know. I've got some frames that I bought from the op shop. I have um, adhesive foam, more frames that I bought from the op shop. God, I hope, I, I hope I'm showing you this. It's just, my, I can't coordinate my hand <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> with the iPad, it's, maybe I should have used the phone. I thought it would have been a clearer view with, with the iPad, but I'll see, when I play this back, I'll see what it's like. Over here are my kitted projects, and I would have shown this in my in my um, kit parade. So these are patterns, not kits, that have fabric and all threads that are ready to be started. I probably have the threads for them, but I just haven't placed them with it. So I am just going to close this up going to stand up so I'm moving over and that's a scroll frame which really doesn't suit me that's probably another stash unload item that I that I think I might do it's too wide and I can't actually put my arms around it so here there's my easel and my two teddies I got those teddies when I had my first surgery my mastectomy after being diagnosed with breast cancer and I've just kept them because they're lovely they're cute all right so moving over to my cabinet so I'm now going to focus on here now this houses DMCs which are on bobbins most of my uh, most of these were inherited from my mother-in-law. She had all of hers bobinated. She had like 400 of them, I reckon, at least. They were all bobinated. So they're all in numerical order. And I've just got a book. Please excuse that. 
that's just a whole lot of stuff that I need to put away and I've just started this which I showed you in my last floss tube and slowly slowly I'll I'll add to it yes I love coffee it's got to have something to do with coffee so now I'm going to show you what what's in here so the first two um, alcoves they house my cross stitches and then if we move over here that's my collection of mirabilia sorry for the noise my dog's playing in the background over here I have um, items that I have purchased that I want to show in my next floss tube I have books I have um, magazines and some other patterns that I don't know that I'll stitch. I probably am just going to keep. So if we move back, now I'm going to show you the drawers and the cupboards at the bottom. I'm going to open this one first. Over here, I just have my project bags and there's just some frames. That I've just thrown here. They need to go in the other cupboard. I just haven't done it. I just tossed them in there. So they're my project bags. In here, as you can see, I've got the ruler which helps you um, measure the fabric and also a corner guide. It's really helpful. I've just got these are awful beads. So I've got those. Yeah, actually these are the ones for pinning fabric. I don't think it's the other one. I just have some of these pins here. Um, these are glue, balloon glues. Oh, they're tacky bill. That's what I was talking about. That's what I use and that's really good. So tacky bill, fantastic for beading. Absolutely fantastic. And I also have some more empty containers for my um, for my beads. At the bottom here, I have these I use to label my project bags. I bought these from AliExpress. I haven't used them yet. I have some DMC numbers there, and. Place cards which I thought I could just put a hole in and just use as a floss drop. I got these made up which I'll use as a floss drop and I wanted something that represented Italy so this is a building in Italy just with um, a superimposed rose. I don't think it's actually painted on the building. I don't think so but not sure. It looks good. Really like it. And just in here. Now that's a blank. Oh, all blanks. Hang on. I'll get to it. And got this one. So I'll, I'll turn them into into floss drops when I need to so moving over to my kits I've got some little kits here some of these I got with the magazine and some I, I purchase in this drawer here these are my bulk threads which I've popped into bags I have my bobbin winder with some DMC numbering and in here, in this here, I've started placing a list of all of the kits that I have just so I can remember because I have far too many. And in here, I've just got the bags which I use. Um, if I'm just kitting something up and I have some, um, oh God, why can't I think of this? Felt good when using like a cute snap just to hold it, secure it in. That's really what I bought it for from AliExpress and it's really good. 
no need to spend money. Down here is where I house all my patterns. That box is empty. I did have some stuff in there, but I took it out. So I have some um, display folders with loose patterns. I have also some patterns just in these kind of envelope shaped plastic carries. So I've got some patterns in there. So that's where I keep all of my all of my patterns are, are in there. And they're in kind of some sort of order for my brain. Um, so I'm quite it works quite well for me. So that's it for my that basically covers everything. So I'd like to say thank you for watching. And if you like my content, please like and subscribe. And please leave a comment. Always love reading comments. Have a wonderful day or evening. God bless. Bye for now.